Calculus 2012, question number one. The question is about the number of cars in stock, and you're given the model here, the function, the equation, and you're also given the graph on the data sheet that you've got to refer to. Part A is asking us to find the two values of x at the stationary points. The stationary points are the maximum and minimum points on the graph, and this is when the gradient is zero. So the first thing we need to do is to differentiate, taking note of the correct letters to use. So in this case, it's n and x. So differentiating gives us 3x squared minus 36x plus 81. It's really important to write equals zero because there's usually a mark in the exam for doing so. To actually solve this quadratic, um, the, probably the easiest and least um, difficult way is to use your silver calculator. But in this case, you could actually do it um, through an algebraic means. The first thing I would do is divide through by three um, to make it easy to factorize. And then using a GCSE method, I could factorize to give me minus three minus 9, which tells us that x is 3 and x equals 9 when the gradient is 0. Part B asks us to determine whether the number of cars in stock satisfies the claim there are 300 cars a minimum and no more than 450. Looking at the graph, we can see that our two stationary points, our maximum and minimum, were correct, giving us 3 and 9. But we now have to substitute back into the original equation to find the values of n at these values. So starting off with x equals 3, that gives us n equals 3 cubed minus 18 times 3 squared plus 81 times 3 add 320, that gives us 428. And then x equals 9 is 9 cubed minus 18 9 squared plus 81 times 9 plus 320, that gives us um, 320. We also, though, to check the claim across the whole of the data range in this year, um, we have to um, actually test the beginning and the end. Even though on the graph it looks like, yes, it's satisfied, you actually have to check it algebraically. So doing the same thing, substituting x equals naught, and that gives you n is 320, and substituting in x equals 12, gives you x, n is 428. Right, getting these four values probably will only get you four marks out of five. Um, to get the final mark, you must make a statement. So, all the values are um, greater than but less than 450, therefore the claim is satisfied. And again, this last bit is really important. You've made your statement and then you do the claim. Part CI asks us to differentiate again. So um, going from dy, sorry, dn by dx, I'll just write it up, which was 3x squared minus 36x plus 81. The second derivative, dn squared by dx squared, is 6x minus 36. We're asked to equal it to zero and solve. So 6x is 36, x is 6. 
And again, you can sort of check this because if the maximum is three and the minimum was nine, the place where the second derivative, that is the gradient, is at its steepest is usually halfway between the maximum and the minimum. Right, part two, state the relevance of this fact in terms of the number of cars in stock. So this is when D2N by DX squared is equal to zero. The gradient is at a maximum. And so in context, the number of the number of cars in stock is declining at its fastest rate. And I know it's declining because I can see here there's a downward trend.